So here's how to filter out internal traffic from GA4. It's a little more hidden than it used to be when compared to Universal Analytics. So what we need to do is go to the data stream and then click into our data stream. And then when we scroll down, you'll see configure tag settings. So we're gonna click into that. And here's where it gets a little bit confusing. So it doesn't actually show up here until you click show all. And then once you do that, then you'll see define internal traffic. So from here, you can add, uh, you can click create and basically just name this and you can configure your IPs in any way that you want. You could add multiple um, IPs for different team members or agencies you're working with. Uh, then once you create this, there's one last step that I see get missed sometimes. Um, so I'm just gonna discard that for now. So once you've submitted that, you've defined your internal traffic, we need to enable the filter. So what we're gonna go for that, we're gonna scroll down here and um, go to data settings and then data filters. And you'll see this internal traffic filter that's already there. Um, but normally it'll be in a, a testing state like this and not actually active. So all you need to do is click into that, select active, and now this filter will actively uh, be blocking your internal traffic and making sure none of your employees or your team members or agencies and vendors are showing up in your analytics data.